Hi, welcome to another episode of PSLE Science Made Simple. I'm Daniel, and I'm a PSLE Science Specialist here in the PIC Lab. In this video, I'll be analyzing a partial examination question on the topic of plants, fungi, and bacteria. I have also prepared this question for you to download for free by clicking a link in the description box below. So, let's get started. Let's look at this question over here. Aisha prepared four types of cheese, A, B, C, and D, under different conditions as shown below. After a week, more was found on all of the cheese. Which of the following correctly shows how the cheese is arranged from the least to the most amount of mold? Now, before we begin to tackle this question, let's first ask ourselves, mold, what group of organism does mold belong to? Mold belongs to the group of organism known as fungi. Now, let's recall, what conditions does the mold need in order for it to grow? You can remember the conditions by the acronym WOW, or in short, WOW, alright? So, what does the first W stand for? The first W stands for water, O stands for oxygen, and last but not least, the last W stands for warm. So next time, if you ever encounter a more question, just remember, wow. Alright, so now you are ready to answer this question. But first, let me ask you a simple question. Do any of you love cheese? I do. My favourite type of cheese is the parmesan cheese. I always like to sprinkle some parmesan cheese onto my pasta. It just makes it extra delicious. And my least favourite cheese is actually the blue cheese because it's very stinky if you ever smell one before. Okay, so for those of you who love cheese, where will you normally store your cheese at home? You will store your cheese in the refrigerator, am I right? Now, why do you store your cheese in the refrigerator? It's because the refrigerator is cold. Okay, and recall, more needs warm to grow. So if you store your cheese or your food in the refrigerator, it will help to slow down the growth of mold. And hence, it's always advisable to store all your unfinished food in the refrigerator. Now, with that in mind, if I want to have the least mold, should I store the cheese in a cupboard or in the refrigerator? I should store the cheese in the refrigerator, am I right? Let's highlight that. Okay, so we are left with two options, option B and option D, okay? Now, what's the difference between these two options? Option B is sprinkled with water. Option D is not sprinkled with water. So which one do we choose? Remember, one of the conditions that needs to be met before mold can grow is the presence of water. So if I want the cheese to have the least mold, should the cheese be sprinkled with water? No, and hence, cheese D will have the least mold. Now, let's talk about the cheese with the most mold. So if I want the cheese to have the most mold, the cheese should be stored in the cupboard. So you have two options over here, A and C. Okay, now among these two options, A and C, A is sprinkled with water, C is not sprinkled with water. And remember, water is an important condition before mold can grow. Am I right? So if I want the cheese to have the most mold, should the cheese be sprinkled with water? Yes, hence A would have the most mold. Let's write it down over here. Now, we are ready to arrange them. Recall that the question asks you to arrange from the least mold to most mold. Okay, and we already say that cheese D would have the least mold and cheese A would have the most mold. Therefore, the answer should be option number four. Thank you for watching and I hope that you enjoyed this video. If you found this video useful, do give us a thumbs up. If you'd like to check out more videos by us, do click on the link on the right hand side. Last but not least, don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more interesting videos. Thank you and I'll see you next time. Bye!